Hello again, everybody. This is a Slingerland 2012-14 kit that's uh, a little bit of an earlier 60s kit. Very, very, very nice mahogany and poplar shells. It's in great shape. Um, just has an extra little mount here, Rogers. And uh, this kit um, is also going to be showed today with a titanium craviato snare drum that I thought matched very, very nicely. This is a fantastic drum. It has more range than I thought it would originally. Really, really uh, easy to tune up here. Um, whether you muffle it or not, uh, just sounds fantastic. Now this, uh, this kit, um, it comes with, without these extra Rogers mounts that I've added on here. Now we can throw these in, but for the price that you see on our website, just FYI, that's just the basic three-piece kit. Um, these work really nicely though. This is an original Rogers piece that I found. And then this is one of our repro holders uh, and I've got them set up real nice. This middle one, just FYI, um, it's a little tight here. You can do a 20, 22 would not fit very easily. You really got to tighten this one down also. Um, this one here, I would probably recommend using a cowbell, but if you have a 20 and you want to set it up like this, it does work. It, it is effective and uh, just a really nice, cool kind of old school look to it. So we're going to do three tunings. Uh, I'll start out with the low, then the middle, then the high. Hope you enjoy it. There you have it. Very, very cool kit. Very sweet kit. Um, these old Slingerlands, when you tune them really low like this, they're not like modern drums. They aren't as, they are not as resonant in my opinion. Um, if you, if you play like a DW kit or even a Craviato kit, um, if you tune them very, very low and muffle them a little bit, like I've done here with the internal mufflers, and then these are just coated ambassador heads. Um, if you play on a more modern kit, it's a little bit of a longer note, but these ones, they have that kind of like 70s sound, very, very tight, um, kind of punchy sound. These are brass hoops, by the way, which is very, very cool also. Gives you a really interesting rim shot. Um, and, and just adds to the tone, tonality of the drums. But yeah, the 70s sound, it's great for uh, kind of a tight, punchy sound that won't get in the way at all with the toms. 
I'm going to do two more tunings, a middle one and then a higher one. It's really a fantastic uh, kit though, and uh, I definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking for that slingerless sound. It's a very particular sound. Of the old kits, like a Rogers has, in my opinion, the most resonance. But these ones, they really give you that vintage sound. It's a specific sound, maybe not as versatile as other things, but a very specific sound that works great um, in the studio, for example. Just, and it's just, you don't need to do much to it, just a, a really nice live studio sound. Maybe if you have a little bit of extra reverb, yeah, a kit like this, it works great in a large space, actually, that has a lot of reverb because it's got, it's just, it's a very quiet sounding drum set. And you'll see that if you look at old videos where people are playing 70s kits, maybe in like a jazz trio gig or something like that, they just, they just fit into the room really, really nicely. So yeah, there we go. Uh, we'll do a middle tuning and then a high tuning. Okie dokie. So then here we have the middle tuning and just FYI, for all three of these tunings, the head on the bass drum is a pinstripe, just like subtracting the muffling a little bit as we go. And uh, this is the tuning that I usually use when I'm playing because this tuning is, is about the most versatile, in my opinion. <laughs> So there you have it. To me, this is kind of like a big band tuning. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can use the same heads and take a little bit more muffling off. The toms, by the way, had no muffling on this. And you can really hear when you do zero muffling on them, how they just, they almost sound like they're a little bit muffled, even if there is no muffling on them. And that's what I think is one of the coolest thing about, things about these vintage drums. It has to do with the rounding bear, bearing edge and just some of the other aspects there on these, uh, these old, these old drums, but yeah, you, you gotta love them. This is a really, really sweet kit, really fun to play. And then the snare drum too, incredible range. So yeah, we'll do like a high bebop tuning after this and uh, stay tuned. Okie dokie, so this is the high tuning and uh, it has the same heads on it, um, just less muffling. And then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, th this is more for kind of like artistic uh, soloing and, and jazz playing.
There you go. And uh, just FYI, like I said in the beginning of the video, this uh, this symbol holder, I mean, it's not close to as strong as some modern ones, but you've seen me play through all three of these. And it, I tightened it really, really hard. It has not moved throughout all three of these. This is a fairly heavy symbol. So yeah, you know, if, it, if you have it straight up, which would mean you wouldn't be able to do this, you'd have to do like a cowbell there. It'll hold rock solid. So yeah, just uh, give us a call. We got this kit in the Illinois store. It's a very affordable and uh, really well-made Slingerland drum set with just a wonderful classic sound. And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching.